guys, I am all packed up, ready to go, but I wanted to show you this place where I was in real quick, spending my time here during my quarantine in an area called Nunoa, or Nunoa. I haven't been able to get the pronunciation, so I apologize, but what I have been able to get is some amazing breeze staying in this awesome Airbnb on the 18th floor. Look at that view, very nice. That's actually my balcony right there as well from the living room. Then we got San Cristobal, a mountain um, with this nice uh, city landscape of Santiago. feeling like a San Miguelino and that's because I am walking in San Miguel which is a small commune area here in Santiago considering the fact that Santiago is such a huge city this is small since it's 100,000 which is the population and that's grown tremendously which is basically the open air museum. This is a community of about 6,000 residents. It's mostly giant apartment buildings. They were built in the 60s. It has that architecture, it's really nice. We are about 50 kilometers away from the capital of Chile, Santiago, in a small town called Palmaire. Palmaire is very small. It seems like it's only built by locals. Um, what's surrounded by Palmaire is a bunch of mountains that have clay material in them, which allows all the residents to make a lot of clay uh, materials and sell them here. They seem to only be active on the weekend, even on Friday mornings. There's not a lot of places that are open. So if you do come here, you want to come on the weekend and you want to make sure you get an empanada because they're super famous for that. I just finished enjoying half of my mote de huesillo, which is basically up to here, a bunch of corn. And then there's a peach in there. Yeah, it's super sweet. I can't even finish it because it has so much sugar. Aside from that, I was trying to enjoy uh, empanada. Um, I ordered one, the pino. So here, right behind me, you have a lot of flats of people giving their thanks because they came over here, they asked for something from the spirit of the dead girl and she went and granted their wish. And this seems to be one of the most packed uh, sanctuaries that I've seen on the road. There's a lot of them with little houses, but apparently this one right here, this girl is really actually fulfilling people's dreams, prayers, and wishes because the amount of things that they brought her is insane. I am here in the beautiful, ultra impressive, magnificent San Alfonso del Mar. This place is amazing. I'm super glad I came. It's way colder than I thought it would be, surprisingly. I thought by the coast it would be nice and, you know, tropical, but it's actually colder than Santiago. It's about 63 degrees right now, so about 17 Celsius. I am freezing. This is the first time I've worn this sweater since I was on the plane. Um, but this place is super nice. It's amazing. Look at the view.
finally made it here to Valparaíso, which is the second largest city in all of Chile. It is the largest port that Chile has. It is their main port. It's a beautiful city. There's tons of artwork, like you can see right behind me. All of these buildings are preserved. You cannot remodel them, renovate them in any way because they all contain a bunch of history. going on guys so i just took the metro from valparaiso all the way over here to viña del mar this place is beautiful i have the mar the ocean right behind me it actually stands for vineyard garden or vineyard of the garden something like that Good morning, I am up here bright and early because I wanted to visit this cemetery before people started getting here. It is the Cementerio General, which is the oldest cemetery in Chile, one of the largest in South America. It has over two million burials, two million. That's insane. And right behind me, you can see where some of the most important people that ever lived in Chile um, were here buried. And a lot of these people are influential families. You have these giant museleos, which are basically like these giant tombs. And um, they have multiple people in here. I've been here staying in Las Condes. Like I showed you, I was in Parque Arauco, which is like a mall. They also have a park, it's called like Vida Parque. And they have like events and stuff here. There's a nice trail where you can do like, go for a nice run. And then right behind, really nice scenery building. So I'm gonna be heading over there and uh, check out Santiago. I wanna show you this nice park real quick, just in case you wanna go out for a run. This is a perfect place to do it since there's so much commuting and walking of people. And I wanted to mention how Las Condes is really nice to walk through because there's trees everywhere. Like there's no walking anywhere without some shade. So it's nothing like San Miguel when I was walking there. It was like blistering hot trying to find a shade of a tree. This place is like trees everywhere. So it's really nice. I am here in Plaza Italia. Uh, I think it's called Parque Italia now. This is where a bunch of protests happened. Right behind me, you can see a mural with multiple faces of people that were killed during these protests or that had some sort of influential impact. There's tons of graffiti over, over here. There's a lot of art. I'm gonna go ahead and see more of the city. See a lot of skyscrapers, one of the second biggest ones in Latin America, if not the biggest in South America. So I'll show you guys some more soon.
here in the end of San Cristobal at the top. We have the Virgin Mary here. Um, it's quite a sight. It's really quiet up there, so I didn't get any videos because people are praying. We're all the way at the top of Santiago at this mountain. Um, it's a beautiful view right behind me. Solis, and it takes you from the top of the mountain of San Cristobal all the way to Gran Torre, the super tall tower. So I'll show you guys some more soon, but you should definitely take advantage because that walk was intense. So it's way better to take this down. See? I'm here finally in the Sky Center, which is basically the Grand Tower. We got this beautiful view behind me of the financial district. Las Dominicos is not too far either. We got a mountain right over there. the Parque de los Dominicos which you guessed it has history behind um, a Dominican church that's right around here and that's why they named everything after the Dominicans <laughs> out of here enjoying this beautiful last sunset in Chile before I get back to Miami. Chile is super famous for these beautiful sunsets. Mm -hmm. 